are so big. <laughs> Christina Evergon. Um, yeah. Story of that. So Pete Gambarg, my A&R guy, he came to me and brought a piece of this song. And I was in a very dark place after Rosie had passed away. We had already finished the album. We had already cut everything. We were already mixing. I really didn't know how to sort of grieve the loss of Rosie and then go back into being a recording artist. Like I couldn't find the bridge. And I thought to myself, I can't put out an album that's already written and doesn't represent Rosie. And I can't, like I can't not talk about her. And then I also don't know how to talk about her yet. And it was a very kind of gray area. And then Pete came to me with this song, which he had never done in my whole career. Had never brought me someone else's idea. And he brought me a piece of it and said, this really moved me and I think it might move you. And I feel like only Pete Gambard could have done that. Cause I feel <laughs> like anybody else it would have been slightly like too soon. But I love Pete so much, and, and uh, I think I don't think he realized how it sort of saved me wow. in a way where I felt ready to uh, to get back to work. And so when we sat with it and finished writing it, it made sense to me that that would be the last song we add to the album, but the first song that we share with the world, so that my narrative would be true. Have you told them how much it's helped you? You know, I definitely have. I tell Pete I love him all the time but I probably should tell him again. <laughs> yeah. Love him. <laughs>